Welcome back to Best Pizzas. I'm Tony Two Bites. You're watching the history of pizza in New York City. Before we get into it, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Okay, let's get into it. Gennaro Lombardi is widely considered to be the godfather of pizza in New York City. But historians say he wasn't the first to sell pizzas there. Lombardi was an Italian immigrant who had come to New York City as a teenager in search of a better life in the late 1800s. He had left behind his small village in Italy and traveled across the ocean to America with nothing but the clothes on his back and a dream in his heart. Gennaro Lombardi was a hard worker, and he soon found a job working in a bakery. But he had always had a passion for pizza he had learned to make in his mother's kitchen back in Italy. Back then, they were known as tomato pies, and they were an inexpensive way for laborers to get a hot, hearty meal. The first tomato pies came from the Naples area of southern Italy. They were made with a thin crust, fresh uncooked tomatoes, mozzarella cheese prepared with milk from the Italian Mediterranean buffalo, fresh basil, and olive oil. They were cooked rapidly in high-temperature wood-fired ovens. In 1905, Lombardi received the first ever license for a pizza restaurant on Spring Street in Manhattan's Little Italy neighborhood. Because of that license, many believed he was the first to sell pizzas. However, it now appears others sold pizzas years before Lombardi's without a license. Lombardi's Pizzeria was a humble place, with just a few tables and a coal-fired oven. Because he sold tomato pies by the slice, it quickly became a popular lunch spot for Italian immigrants who worked in factories. Lombardi's was known for its delicious, thin-crust pizza, which was made with fresh ingredients and a secret sauce recipe. The pizza was cooked in a coal-fired oven, which gave it a smoky flavor and crispy crust. In 1905, Lombardi's sold an entire pie for five cents, but Lombardi's success didn't come without its challenges. In the early 1900s, Little Italy was a rough neighborhood filled with gangsters and street toughs. Lombardi's Pizzeria was no exception. In the early days of the pizzeria, Lombardi had to deal with protection rackets and threats from local gangs. Despite the challenges, Lombardi's pizzeria continued to thrive. Over the years, it became a beloved institution in Little Italy, attracting celebrities, politicians, and everyday New Yorkers. Frank Sinatra and Italian tenor Enrico Caruso were regular customers. The writer Jack Kerouac also frequented Lombardi's, and he immortalized the pizzeria in his novel On the Road. As the years went by, Lombardi's Pizzeria became a symbol of New York City's immigrant heritage. It was a place where people from all over the world could come together and share a love of pizza. Lombardi's was also a testament to the city's resilience, as it had survived economic downturns, natural disasters, and the changing taste of the public. In 1984, the original Lombardi's closed, but reopened 10 years later a block away at 32 Spring Street, run by Gennaro Lombardi III, Gennaro Lombardi's grandson, and his childhood friend, John Brescio. This hiatus in location change surrendered the title of America's oldest pizzeria to Papa's Tomato Pies in Trenton, New Jersey, which opened in 1912 and has sold pies without interruption since. Brescio, who remains the current owner, was named as a captain in the Genovese crime family by law enforcement in 2017. How spicy! Although Lombardi's was the first licensed pizzeria and Gennaro became the legendary godfather of pizza, recent discoveries revealed that he wasn't the first to sell pizzas in New York City. Another Italian immigrant named Filippo Milone sold pizzas before Lombardi. In fact, according to early newspaper advertisements, Milone ran multiple locations, including the Spring Street location that later became Lombardi's. This revelation indicates that Lombardi probably started as Milanese employee before taking over shortly after. Officially listed as a pastry chef, Milane may have owned as many as six pizzerias in New York and Brooklyn at the turn of the century, having come from Naples where he also worked in a pizzeria. The grocery store opened in 1897, serving what was then called tomato pie. Still, historians are unsure if this was the first pizza in America, just the first best-known pizzeria in the country once it became Lombardi's. From there, pizza spread slowly across the country, starting in cities with larger populations of Italian immigrants like Boston, Chicago, Detroit, and St. Louis. Not long after, in the 1950s, the first large pizza chains appeared. Shakey's in 1954 and Pizza Hut in 1958. Today, about one of every eight Americans consumes pizza on any given day and it has become one of the most popular foods around the world. There you have it. 
A slice of history for all you pizza lovers and foodies out there. Lombardi was indeed the godfather of pizza in America, even if he wasn't the very first to sell it in New York City. Subscribe to this channel to discover the best pizzas in every city. To cook pizzas like a pro at home, go to housepizzaoven.com. Until next time, remember, two bites is better than one.